Hey, so um, I did an unboxing video earlier and now I wanted to test all these stuff out because I was having some weird issues with some of the washi tape and I just want to make sure that everything is up to par. If not, I'm going to have to go through the arduous process of returning or getting exchanges. Um, there's not really a lot of review product review videos on youtube for stuff from aliexpress and so you know as a consumer who likes to be informed i really wish there were more of them and i'm hoping this will be helpful for people and i got a ton of stuff a wide variety of things so um let's get to testing all right i got some supplies here that i would thought i would be able to use i actually need to get an ink pad too. Okay, I have Wendy Vecchi's Ranger Archiving. Okay, so let's start with the washi tapes because I think that was the weird thing that I was having issues with when I first opened it. Let's open this one. Actually, I'm gonna do it this way. In case I do need to return it, I have all the bags and tags that it comes in. All right. I mean, you know, my wish is that everything works and that I don't have to return anything, but I was already having issues earlier. So the one thing is, you know, they are packaged really well. So I have to give them that. So let's go ahead and unwrap this. Stick that in there. And it looks like there's tape on here to keep it. And so this is the tape. All right. Oh, interesting. It's um, it's an, it's a re it's actually a sticker. So here, let's rip this off and go ahead. And um, so it's actually. One thing is it is half this size or less because it's actually on sticker backing also. So let's go ahead, I'm just gonna rip it so I like that look. Just to the side and stick it. So this seems to work well. Okay, I'm glad, I'm happy about this one. I like that and it's good quality, um, comes with backing paper um, and even this that was kind of already the beginning of it was um, still pretty sticky. So that's actually good. All right, I'm, I'm happy about that. This is good, I'll keep that. That's a, good, that's a good pile, I'll make two piles. All right, let's take a look at this washi. This is um, like mini tickets or, or tag types of washi. Go ahead and open this up. You know, they use like high quality plastic over in AliExpress because the plastic is like so hard to like rip with your hands. You actually need to cut them. See that? Like, usually I feel like you can usually like open them, like rip them easily, but these you can, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm assuming it's a good thing. All right, let's try this one. Look how pretty that is. I'm hoping that it's also going to be good washi that's not gonna rip when I um, peel it. You see, it like, it kind of ripped a little bit right here and that's what I'm afraid of. So let's go ahead and um, unroll. Okay, so it looks like it's working okay for now. Let's put it this way. And seems to be sticking well. It's good quality. It's almost like vellum paper, which um, I can appreciate. So here it is on the page along with the other one. So both seem to be doing well. Okay, that go, that'll go on the good side. All right, let's try this mushroom one, which I'm really excited for. It's little um, stamps of mushrooms. This I'm afraid might be giving me issues because it's perforated and the edges are not even. Again, I think the packaging for these things are really nice. 
trying to figure out the best way to get this thick, this thick plastic off without cutting into the actual washi stickers. Let's see how this goes. Yeah. All right. Fingers crossed for this one because I really, really want to love this one. Oh, just look how pretty that is. Um, where is the first one? Aha, here it is. Oh, no, that's not it. Or is there no first one? No, that's impossible. There has to be a first one. Is this it? This is it. Here it is. Okay, I'm going to be careful when peeling it and try to be e even about it and get as much of it off on the edge as possible before pulling. Okay, that seems to be doing okay. And it's really sticky. Uh, the paper itself feels, the sticker itself feels hefty, which I'm glad for. And I think that's helping to not, to keep it from ripping. And it looks like it is, um, it's peeling a little bit, but I think I just need to, um, let me get a, let me get a bone folder to help push it down. Talk amongst yourselves. <clears throat> All right. And if you're watching this, um, if I were you, I would go on like 1.5 or 1.75 or 2.0 speed just to kind of fast forward through the things and jump around and see which ones which items you're actually interested in yeah this I'm, i like that okay that's good also all right let's continue on here we have i think this is just regular paper yeah so this is just regular perforated paper it's kind of like book plate style or frames um it's pretty good it's like you know it's like thin coated paper um a little bit above regular copy paper maybe like bond paper i'm not sure what the weight definitions are for things like that but it's a little it's pretty small actually it's not that big each face plate is about two and three quarters by an inch and three quarters so they're pretty small um but you know i think they might serve you well if this is the size that you're looking for. That's the one thing you have to look for the most importantly when you're looking on AliExpress for these types of things is the size because things may appear larger than they than they actually are. Okay, let's continue on. Let's get more washi. Look at this one. This is beautiful. I'm actually excited to try this one also. Because so far we're having good experience. Again, with that high quality plastic that's like um, so hard to. Sorry, didn't mean to reach over. All right. Let's push this open. Here it goes. Yeah, look how pretty this is. It's newsprint, I think. It's like vintage newsprint style. Yeah, I feel like gonna be delicate in this way, especially with the wider ones, you know. Um, when you're pulling it, I don't want it to just rip like diagonally or, or some other way. Yeah, oh my gosh, look how beautiful this is. This would elevate any page instantly. Wow. Okay, let us rip a piece and stick it onto a page. It's really sticky too, so be careful when you're when you're ripping it that you don't let it um, pop back, snap back on itself, and just kind of stick on each other. You know, like when you're when you're using packing tape and it just sticks on on itself. It's um, like washi; you can lift it up and reposition it, which I appreciate. Oh, I had my other bone fold folder here. Okay. This is also really pretty. It's very see-through, it's sheer, but I think it's um, it 
it's really nice. I really love that. Imagine this on coffee dyed paper. That would look beautiful. That would look amazing. All right, so far I'm having great luck. I'm very happy about that. Let's just, you know what I'm gonna do for your guys' sake? I'm just gonna do all the washi first. That way I can timestamp this. Okay, this one is um, film, like um, film strip style. Okay, what's the best way to take this off? Here it is, okay. And they used, it looks like they used washi to secure the washi. Which I also appreciate. It's very meta, right? Yeah, this is what I don't want happening with the other washi where you're ripping it and it just, um, it rips where you don't want it to. Okay. Oh, interesting. Is this tape or is this... If it's tape, I'll need to cut it and see because... It's not, it's not sticky. So let's cut, let's go ahead and cut this actually. Let's cut this first one. And see if it's a sticker. Cause I honestly can't remember when I ordered it. If it was a sticker or not. I'm assuming it was a sticker or else why would I buy it? But it's not really. Aha, uh -huh, yes it is. Oh wow, that is. That's pretty darn cool, actually. Okay, I am not mad at this at all. It is a sticker, and it's backed on... And it is backed on um, clear backing, which makes it awesome. And yeah, look how beautiful that is. It's so clear. I mean, you can see my fingerprints now, my dirty little fingerprints. But... I mean, it's just really nice and it's really sticky and it seems like really high quality. Look at this. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my God. Wow. Okay. Also another good purchase. Very happy about this one. Okay. Let's continue on with the other washi. I cannot believe I bought so much washi. Actually, I can't believe it because I was going washi crazy. I love this packaging, you know, sometimes I wish I could just you know, keep it too, but I don't really need it at the moment. All right, let us hope this also turns out really well. This was um, another one that was sort of like invoices and receipts that I thought was really pretty. Okay, I see it right here. All right, let's open this. This has more of a feel of like masking tape to me, like a, like a, like a sheer masking tape. Um, not sure if that's still considered vellum or not. Okay. Oh, this is also on backing. Oh, that's so awesome. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna rip it. And this is on backing. So here is the tip backing part. And this is the tape part. It's, re it's um slightly sheer and see-through, but not like as clear as the film one. Let's put it here. And it is re replaceable, like you can take it out and replace it. But I think if once I burnish it, I won't be able to. Um, maybe if I remember, I'll test it at the end after I do all this. Okay, I really like that one too. Okay, wow. I am now having better luck than in the beginning. I think I was kind of rushing when I first opened it out of excitement, perhaps. Um, so we'll see. I'm, I mean, I'm hoping that they all work out really well. You know, I don't want them to be bust. Okay, so here's more washi. This is also washi and the rest are stamps, which I'll do later. Maybe this video will just be all washi and then I'll do a second video that's all stamps, just so it'll, it'll be easier for people. See, this is the one that I opened and I was having a hard time with it. So let us hope and pray that this is not going to be like that the entire time. 
because I can already see it. I think, I wonder if it just got squished on the side. You see how on the side, it's a little, um, it's coming downwards. I wonder if that is what's causing it to be an issue. Because this side seems to be fine. Oh, gosh. Okay. See, yeah, see, I keep opening it. And um, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to rip this one off. And let's take a look at what we have so far. So this is the first set. And you can see here how it's ripping or did rip and this part is ripping. And here I was very careful, but it was still ripping. So I think this might be the dud that I, the first dud that I opened when I was looking through the products that I got and it kind of scared me. So if it so happens that maybe it's just the beginning that's like that, um, I'll be okay with it because it was only probably like two dollars with shipping or something like that but we'll see i'm gonna examine this further and like rip the edges off yeah i'm just hoping that it was just the first one okay let's take a look i'll just do two more Please work, please be okay. I'll do it from this side and kind of um, be gentle and guide it on the, in that way. Okay, this one seems to be okay. Let me do one more, just more. Oh, see, I can feel it sticking already on that side. So I think when I rip it, I just have to kind of rip it in an angle that goes in this direction and that helps it to peel it in that way. Okay, that. I think this is okay. Yeah, I think I'll keep this one also. Okay. All right. More washi. The washi fun never ends. This is, I think this is the other one I opened that just ripped completely. Yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and, um, I don't know how to, yeah, see here. You can see, I mean, you can't, it's really hard to see because it's all frosted white, but this definitely ripped off. And it's now stuck all over my finger. You see how it's like, you know, when you like rip something that's dry off and it just kind of... Although, I mean, I can't tell where... Aha, here it is, okay. I just really want, I really like this one too. This one's more like an educational science um, frosted washi. Okay, I literally have no idea how to... Here it is. Okay, I, to, I think I have to do it sideways first. Okay, let me do it. So let me start from here. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. This is the edge. Okay. Let us pray this works. Oh! Thank you, you said bless you. This is actually on backing. So I think that might've been the issue, but I think it's okay because if it's on backing, it should be fine, right? Okay, let's just rip it from here. I think it might've been the sealant that they used. Like they used like, um, it was just too sticky when they, okay, let's get a second page. It was just too sticky already when they, um, Do it here. No, okay. Yeah, you know what I'm gonna do? Because I'm trying to make it artsy also. I'm gonna just do it this way. This is beautiful though. Look at this. I love there's something about fungus, fungi that I like. Maybe because I'm such a fun guy myself. Haha. <laughs> Kidding. Okay, you know what? It just it was just like a bust in the beginning, but once you got past that opening area. It's actually okay. And I need to show you how beautiful this is. Look at that. It is gorgeous. And um, it's this much of original stuff before it becomes a repeat. I mean, that's like, ah, oh, so beautiful. And it's see-through. Let me, let me show, let me get you a close-up. Yeah, I mean, you can see how much of a mess it was when I was trying to undo it. 
but it's actually like just beautiful. It looks almost like a stamp, which I actually have stamps of this <laughs> that's similar to it actually. All right, let's continue on. This one, um, I think it's like math equations maybe. Let's take a look. Okay, I think this might be the same situation as the other one. Let's take a look. Is it double-sided or just one-sided? Yes, it is on backing also. Pretty cool. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's like, um, it's giving me um, math book, like old math book vibes. Okay, let's, let's take a little bit of this. Put on my little specimen sampler page. This part, I'm gonna do it from here because this, this little bubble is gonna drive me crazy. All right, on backing. So without the backing, it's um, see-through frosted, like almost like a vellum glassine bag. Let's put on this side. I don't know why this says Mori. Like it, when, when I see the word Mori, I only think of Mori Povich, that old um, talk show host where you know, it was always like trying to find out who the baby daddy of the baby was. <laughs> Nostalgia in that. All right. I have this entire thing of washi tape also. So let's, this, I might just pick and choose. I mean, should I do all of it? Yeah, why not? Let's just do all of it. We're here, right? And you want to see it. Look how beautiful. Oh my God. First of all. Can we just appreciate how beautiful these designs are? Like, are they not just the most gorgeous jewel tones you have ever seen on washi? Like they are magnificent and artful. Okay, let's, like I would love a bathroom or kitchen tile that looks like this. All right, let's take a look at this first one. Um, also a little see-through, but not bad. I like it. Very sticky. Good heft to it. It doesn't feel like it's, you know, flimsy. I guess not that really matters for washi tape, right? Because you're not really using it as a workhorse. It's more decorative. Yeah, look how beautiful, oh my god. Look how beautiful that is on a page. It almost looks like, um, watercolor or oil pastel. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, let's do the second one. This is this is almost like the um, hexagon version of that other one. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Oh gosh. It's a lighter version of this, very pastel, pale, pale pastel versions, but it's like, still has that um, sort of marbleized mother of pearl look to it, which is beautiful. And this one has that hex, that um, ge geometrical, every so often bold gold look. This is like, I, I think when I was looking for wallpapers last year at some point, this was one of the patterns that I felt like was very, not just wallpaper, but like home decor, like pillows and throws. And there was a lot of things with this pattern. And it's really, I mean, it's really beautiful. I could see why for sure. Let's do it this way. I'll do it here. Yeah, that's really pretty. Okay, let me actually put these back and go get the next three. Okay. I thought this was where the tape ended, but it's actually a design. <laughs> this is where the tape ends. But can you blame me? Look at this. Does, does that not look like it's not on purpose? <laughs> but it is. It's part of the design. Oh, it's ripping. Ah. Oh. 
Okay, I think it should be okay now. Let's do a little bit more of this one. Look at that, that's so beautiful. Let's do it this way. Look at that. See, that's where I ripped it. But other than that, it's beautiful. It has little flecks of, um, I'm not sure if, it's, if that's gold. I think that might be gold flecks. No, it's gold lines, but just regular flecks and just kind of adds an earthy tone to it, which I really like. So I know that they measure these by millimeters. Um, like washi traditionally is measured in millimeters. So I think this is the 15 millimeters, 10. And then the next one is, um, is it the same size? Yeah, so this is like the five millimeter. I, I'm, I'm, I think, let me actually get my ruler. No, this is more. So this is 10 millimeters. This one is 15 and this is 20 millimeters. Okay, so I was basically five off on each and every single one of them. Oh, this one is nice. The grid lines. I want to put this on graph paper and just add like extra grid lines to it for some sort of effect, which I think would be kind of cool and cute to do. I have so many ideas and so little time and energy, but doing junk journaling and and crafting gives me a lot of energy. But now that things are opening back again, a lot of my friends want to go out and I'm just trying to make excuses as to why I want to stay home. <laughs> and just play with all my toys and tools. All right, let's try the next one. Let's start with the bigger one again. Cannot get it out. And then look how beautiful, like, let me just talk about this box, please. Like, look how beautiful that is. They took the showstopper piece and turned it into a giant thing and the back previews what they all look like also. Oh my God, I cannot get this out. Okay, there, all right. This one sort of has like a mermaid scale pattern and it's like marbleized. This is very, very wealthy person bathroom. This is like their fifth, if you have a fifth bathroom, this is the tile you would use. Oh my God, I just spat. This is the tile you would use for that walk-in shower tub combo. I think you know what I'm talking about. All right, let us take a look at this. Oh yeah. Look at that. It's like, it's definitely, this is like marble for sure. It's beautiful. Although it's kind of, and not that it really matters, but you could see where the pattern ends and they didn't bother turning it continuous. They just, they were just like, okay, well, once it ends, it's just started over again. <laughs> Which, you know, I'm not mad at it, but I'm also not happy with it. <laughs> okay, this is, see here is another one. Like if you're doing like a long one, it would be obvious, right? Although I guess in the grand scheme of things, it won't be that noticeable maybe. Okay, let's take out the other ones. This is beautiful. It reminds me of like a very sophisticated Super Mario Brothers background. It's like, you know, like the hills or the trees, but it's like black and it's like black and gold. So it's classy. Unless it's supposed to be like this, which would make them champagne flutes. But either way works, actually. <laughs> okay, let me put this here. This color scheme, too, is to die for. Like, everything just, like, there's no, like, rep repetition, but it all works so well together. Oh, I love that. Oh, okay. Love that one. I love dark washi tape. I think they're beautiful. Okay, let's try this one, which is really cool. Um, almost like a uh, Greek or Mediterranean pattern. Look at that. Oh, wow, that's so beautiful. Let's put it here. Yeah, 
that is pretty nice. Love that. That gold is glistening for sure. And this is the last one. And it's like kind of giving me that Asian waves vibe, the Japanese waves. Oh yeah, for sure it is. That's going to be pretty. Where should I put it? Put it on the bottom. That is beautiful. Okay, you know what I want to do? Is make sure I'm not missing any. I've gotten all the washi. And then the next one, I will do... Yeah. There might be some stickers, too, that I got. I just can't remember. But I will do those with all the stamps for the next video, just so that it's not too long. But yeah, this is all the wash I got. Um, they all, I think, were pretty good in general. I think, I think they were all just like the parts that were exposed the longest, the outside parts were a little weird for some of them, but overall they all seemed and felt really nice. As you can see here. Love this one. Oh my God. I actually love all of them. I'm actually not unhappy with any of the washi that I got because I thought I would be, because I was just like going crazy. I had like a million tabs open and I was just like, buy, 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 shopping cart, shopping cart, shopping cart. But I'm actually like pretty satisfied with what I got. So yeah, thanks for um, watching. If you have stayed this long, it's been I think over half an hour. Um, uh, you can subscribe to my channel if you want to see more things like this. I basically just started out and I'm going crazy because I'm having so much fun paper crafting, making junk journals, creating pages like this, creating ephemera and embellishments. And if you, you know, are curious to my journey, and I do a lot of like product reviews because I feel like that's the one thing missing on YouTube out of the millions and billions of videos are people are not doing product reviews of things that they got that other people might be wanting to buy also. So I definitely want to do things like that. So thank you and um, hope you have a good day. Bye.